What's going on guys, Michael J here, back again with another Video Games Pickups. And that sounds so weird to say Video Games Pickups, but uh, that's what it is. I don't know what this little dance was. But if you can't tell, I did move once again that time of year. But uh, this time it's actually for college, so hopefully I'll be here for uh, two years. But uh, my printer's not yet hooked up, so I've got my list here on my computer. So if you see me looking off screen for prolonged periods of time, that's what I'm doing. I've got a bag here of uh, my pickups, and I'm sorry if this is uh, an extremely unorganized video, but uh, I just kind of have them all thrown in here. So I'm just going to pull stuff out, look at my computer, tell you how much I got it for, and we'll roll with it. So uh, first up, right here we've got an Xbox 360 controller, black. I actually got two of these, and it cost me about $2, because I used all my rewards points because I'm sick and tired of GameStop, so I just want to use my points and never have to deal with them again. But uh, yeah, so I did that. I'll show you the other one, but it looks the exact same, and it's at my girlfriend's house right now. So there was that. Twice for two bucks. Not bad. All right, next up we've got a WWE 2K14. It's got my boy Dwayne The Rock Johnson on the front, which is that it's actually one of those like reversible artworks. I just put him on the front because I'm actually a little bit of a fan. Not so much with the wrestling, but I like the movie season. Uh, this is complete. I used to play the WWE games like SmackDown vs. Raw and stuff like that when I was younger all the time and they were a lot of fun. I've tested this one out, but I haven't actually played it yet, so I'm kind of hoping that this is fun to uh, relive my childhood a little bit. So next up we've got Civil War Secret Missions. Got this for $2.98 from one of the worst thrift stores in the world that I will probably never go back to. Not just because I moved, just because I don't like it there. But um... This is a game that I started years ago. I'm talking like years and years back. And it was actually my little brother's. And what he does, I've mentioned this before probably a hundred times because he's done this to me so many times. He buys a game. He beats it. He brings it to GameStop. They give him four bucks for it. He goes on with his life. I did not get to finish this game before he beat it. So I got stuck like halfway through the campaign just hanging there. So I told, always told myself, you know, I'll find it at the thrift store one day. And finally, like four years later, I did. I wasn't going to pay 25 bucks for it at GameStop. So I'm glad I waited because a little under three bucks, not bad at all. Sorry if this here, let me angle this up a little bit. And hopefully that's a little better. So next up, we've got Connect Sports Season 2, which I'm actually kind of excited about because I know a lot of people don't really like Connect, but uh, Connect Sports was a lot of fun. So I'm excited to test out uh, Season 2 once I hook up my Connect. It is complete. Disc and manual are in there, as well as the little Connect uh, synchronization card. And that one cost me $1. Next up, we've got Left 4 Dead here. It says $2, but I actually only got it for a dollar at my favorite thrift store in the world. Uh, this is one that I actually had years ago, but somehow I moved and I lost Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, and Borderlands. That's it. Just those three games. Not sure what happened to them, but I've since replaced Left 4 Dead 2 and Borderlands, and now I finally got around to replacing Left 4 Dead for the low price of one dollar so that's not bad at all it's actually one of my favorite console games of all time next up we've got another connect pickup this one is michael jackson the experience i believe i got this for a dollar and it is complete yep says right there a dollar it is complete it's also got this little uh cirque de soleil i believe is how you say it insert in there so that's pretty neat it's got the manual got the game haven't played this yet because i haven't hooked up my connect but um it's a dance game. You can't really expect much from them, but they're fun. Um, next up, we've got Dance Central 2, which is sequel to the number one best-selling dance game on Kinect. <laughs> but uh, it is complete. Dance Central games actually are a lot of fun. So are just dance. I don't like dancing at all, but I do enjoy uh, dancing games quite a bit, and I'm not sure why. And I believe that cost me a dollar as well. All right, next up we've got Defiance, which says $4, but I believe I actually got it for one. And it is complete, so that's pretty cool. Don't have too much to say about this. I haven't actually tested it out yet either. I haven't tested a lot of these because I've been in the middle of moving, but um, yeah, so on to the next one. <laughs> got this uh, Xbox 360 headset that I got from Goodwill for $2.99. This is one of those that uh, kind of takes up the whole bottom of the 360 controller. And I don't know how I didn't look at this earlier, but it's actually missing the two pins on the side. It does work, but it comes loose very easily. So, lucky this, I just picked this up as like a backup in case my headset breaks more than it already is because I do have it taped up. But, um, it's kind of like a last resort headset, so I'm not stressing. It does work, but I'm not stressing if I, you know, don't really have to use it. 
Next up, I believe this is actually my last uh, 360 pickup, is this play and charge cord. Um, I've had this problem in the past. I buy these cords. This only cost me like 50 cents, so it doesn't work, so I'm not, it's not much of a loss. But um, they just draw too much power. I have this little outlet that I plug into the wall and it's got a blue light, and that's what I charge my phone in at night. And when I plug this into it, the light turns off. So it just draws too much power. I've had like two or three of these black cords in the past that have done the same thing. The uh, the white and gray cords, they work fine. But every time I get a black one, they draw too much power and I end up wasting my money. But 50 cents, it's not that much of a waste. All right, I'm just gonna reach in here and whatever I pull out will be next. All right, so we got a um, just a random pickup. I saw it and figured why not. It's uh, Cats for the Nintendo DS. It is complete. Will I ever play this? I don't know. If it's anything like Nintendogs, probably. If not, probably not. But um, this is actually my only DS pickup this time around, and it cost me 50 cents. So that's not bad. Even if I never play it, 50 cents. Not bad. <laughs> It'll look nice on my shelf. All right, so next up, I should actually do this with the miscellaneous stuff, but I'll just go ahead and get into it. It's the uh, Fable original soundtrack. I did get this from a thrift store that... The library donates a bunch of stuff too, so this did originally come from the library. It's got the little uh, library sticker on there, and it doesn't have the back artwork, because this isn't the case it came in, it just came with the front little booklet and the disc. But um, the disc has a few scratches, but it does play fine, which is nice, because Fable actually has a pretty great soundtrack, and it's also a great game. If you haven't played it, then uh, definitely do. <laughs> Alright, so next up, I believe this is actually my only PlayStation 1 pickup as well, is NASCAR 99. Uh, not crazy on NASCAR at all, but the NASCAR games, especially for PlayStation 1, are a lot of fun. And this is complete. This one cost me 50 cents, and the Fable one I have as 50 cents with a bunch of question marks, which means I think it cost me 50 cents, but I just don't remember. Alright, so next up, I don't... I, I actually, I've been hanging on to this for a few months. I'm not sure if this was in one of my other pickups videos. If it was, then I apologize if you're watching it again. But um, it's some Sonic CD. I don't know if it's a game or a demo or what the deal is. It does say not for resale down there. I tried looking it up online, I found a forum where some like Sonic geeks were mentioning it, but um, they're like different disc variants than this one, so I'm not too sure what this is. Got it for 99 cents at Goodwill a few months back. Um, I'd say I'd test it out, but it doesn't, nothing shows up when I put it in my Mac, and I don't have a PC, so maybe I'll get my roommate to uh, try it out because he's a PC guy. Alright, so next up, looks like we're into GameCube games. Hopefully they're all band together, but I've got uh, Madagascar. For the GameCube. I played this all the time when I was younger. I played it on PlayStation 1. Not sure where my copy went. I still something just fell off my wall. That's wonderful. Um, what was the same? Oh yeah, I still have the case, but the disc is off doing its own thing somewhere else. So uh, I'm glad to get that back in my collection because it really is a great game. Alright, next up I've got Spider-Man for the Nintendo GameCube. Almost stuttered there. I kind of caught myself. Uh, unfortunately, it's not complete, but I do already have this complete for the PlayStation 2. However, I'm trying to expand my GameCube collection because I only have a handful of games. So I saw this, figured why not? It only cost me a dollar ninety-nine. Madagascar cost me a dollar. And then next up, I've got a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Got it for two ninety-eight. Once again, at the worst thrift store in the world. Once again, not complete, but if you see a Sonic game for under 5 bucks, even if it's disc only, you better snatch, because you probably will regret it. But there's that, and it's a great game. Um, don't have too much to say about it, it's Sonic, so it kind of gives it away that it's going to be a good game anyways. Alright, so next up, we've got a uh, PlayStation 2. We've got a PlayStation 2 network adapter startup disc, and I don't actually have a network adapter for PlayStation 2, but I grabbed this because it says that... Um, also has some game demos on there. It says not for resale down there. And it is complete. It's got the disc in there, which I'm not going to worry about taking out. But uh, it's also got the manual, and here are previews of some of the games. So I will add this to my demo collection. And this cost me, I think, $1.99. Nope, this cost me $0.99 cents at Google. Next up, I've got Metropolis Mania. I've never actually heard of this game before, but it looked intriguing, so I figured, eh, why not? And it's complete. It's in great condition. Looks like it was barely even touched. And it only cost me 50 cents. So for 50 cents, if I like it, great. If not, it's 50 cents. All right, next up, we've got uh, Kingdom Hearts. And I was extremely glad to get another copy of this in my collection. If you remember, probably almost two years back, probably. Um, I actually found a copy of this in my grandparents' attic. I'm not sure how I got there or why they even had it. But the game was 
terrible. I told myself I was going to resurface it, but I never got around to it. And the artwork was actually sticking to the plastic, so now I've got a good, complete copy that plays great, looks great. So I'm glad to add that, and that cost me $1.99. Next up, from the same place, I've got the sequel. Don't have too much to say about this. The K Kingdom Hearts is just, it's a great, uh, great series, but uh, it's also complete. So that's neat, and that cost me $1.99 as well. So next up for the PlayStation 2, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. My girlfriend has this on GameCube, and she says it's a great game. I actually used to play this when I was younger. I don't remember having a copy of it, but I do remember um, running it from Blockbuster once or twice. So I do know it's a great game. I don't believe I finished it, so I'm not sure if the ending's the same as the movie, but I will get around to playing this eventually, and I will beat you, I promise. May not be today, may not be tomorrow. May not even be next year, but I'll beat you one day. Next up, we've got SSX Tricky. I have to say that slow, because every time I try to say SSX, I stutter. I say every time, and then I don't stutter. But uh, it is complete, and every SSX game is just an extremely great snowboarding game. Sorry, I hear, like, my laundry or something going, so I had to look over. But, um, oh, nope, it was my AC. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Um... Let's see, SSX cost me 50 cents, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory cost me $1.99. Alright, so next up we've got a Medal of Honor European Assault. Once again, not complete, sadly, but the disc is in there and it plays great. It's an old Medal of Honor game, so the controls are a little whack, but if you can find your way around them, the gameplay is actually not too bad. And this one cost me 50 cents, which is nice. If it was $1.99, I probably wouldn't have gotten it just because it wasn't complete, but 50 cents, why not? Alright, so next up, one of my all-time favorite games, again, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I actually already have a copy, but I let my neighbor from, like, ten years ago borrow it, and he returned it just destroyed. So I figured, I'll pick up another one, why not, for the price. Um, it isn't complete, but I might still have my manual, I'll have to double check on that, don't quote me. But, um, I'll put that in here. This game is a little scratched up, but it's nothing compared to my other copy. And it actually does play. And that cost me 50 cents. Next up we've got X Games Skateboarding. Hopefully it's got the same controls as the Tony Hawk games because I slay at those. I haven't tested this out yet because everything's been packed up. But uh, it is complete. I'm excited to actually try this out. And that cost me $1.99 I believe. Yep, $1.99. And this next one also cost me $1.99 at Goodwill, which is where I got the last one. And it's called Mountain Bike Adrenaline. I'm not sure if this is anything like Downhill Domination, which is a game that I absolutely love, or if it's anything more like uh, Matt Hoffman's BMX games. But it is complete, so I will try this out eventually. It says extreme jumps and crazy tricks, dramatic slopes, defy gravity on slopes and bridges, vast 3D environments, like freaking Jurassic Park. But um, yeah, I'll get around to that one day. Alright, I think this is actually my last PS2 pickup, and it is an extension cord, which is nice, because I hate, hate, hate using wireless controllers. I know I'm like the minority on that, but I hate using wireless controllers. And it actually does have all the pins, and there's a plus side to these too, besides, you know, getting an extra three or four feet of length. Um, if your controllers are missing a pin, and you have one of these with all the pins, or sometimes even with a different pin missing, then your controller will be fully functional. If it's missing a different pin, um, it could or could not work, but if it has all the pins, 100% of the time, for me, my controllers have worked to their full capacity, which is awesome. It's like a little life hack. All right, so next up we've got Lego Dimensions for the Wii U. Oh, sorry, that cord cost me like 50 cents, so that's great. Uh, next up we've got Lego Dimensions for the Wii U, and Michael, you have a Wii U? I do not, but I saw this, and it was the first ever Wii U game I saw at a thrift store, and I'm like, dude, I just have to. Maybe I'll get a Wii U one day. Maybe I won't. If I don't, I'll sell it. If I do, then great. I have a first Wii U game. I did the same thing when I bought a Pro Skater 5 for the Xbox One. I actually just got an Xbox One a few days ago for Christmas. Thank you to my beautiful, wonderful, lovely girlfriend for that. Um, I'm not going to show it. It's off camera, but pickups video, so why not mention it? But uh, there's that, and it is complete, and that cost me a dollar at my favorite thrift store in the world. Next up, we've got Tamagotchi Party On, which I actually have a quick little Tamagotchi story. When I was in fifth grade, I used to play the hell out of my Tamagotchis, but when I was in fifth grade, we are taking the FCAT, which is a standardized testing test uh, in Florida that everyone was required to take at the time, and you had to turn in all your electronics, you know, calculators, phones, 
pagers, PDAs, whatever, Tamagotchis even, to your teacher. And Tamagotchis don't have a mute button. They don't have a pause button. So we're taking the test. We hear all these beeps and boops and bops from the teacher's drawer, and we're all freaking out. We're like, oh my god, my Tamagotchi, I know it's mine, it's gonna die. In reality, only one person's died, but the whole class was in distress, and it was just hilarious. So I am very excited to try that out when the time comes, and that cost me a dollar with a bunch of question marks, which means I think it cost me a dollar. Next up, we've got Guitar Hero World Tour. Don't have much to say about this. It's Guitar Hero. It's got some good songs on it. Everyone's played Guitar Hero before, so... That's it, and that cost me 50 cents, which is what they all should because there are like 40 of them. <laughs> Next up, we've got Eminem's Beach Party, which is complete. I just picked this up because I was at a Goodwill that the games are always stolen from, so I opened it up expecting to not find a disc, and I did, and I'm like, you know what? This is a one-time thing. This has never happened before, so I'm gonna get it. Over-exaggerating, it has happened before, but it's been a long, long time for me. And I think that cost me $1.99. Alright, so that's actually it for the video game stuff. Now we're into video game related things. I got these Game Boy socks, which are super sweet. Super dirty, and I've only worn them one time, so that's a bummer. That's why I don't like white socks. But check this out. It's got the OG Game Boy. Flip it around. Game Boy. Trademark. That's upside down. Game Boy. Trademark. And those cost me three bucks. So not bad. And yes, there are two of them. Next up. This is something that I was very excited about. It's a Nintendo 64 disposable camera. I found this at a thrift store for I think 50 cents, 75 cents I paid for it. Wind it up, take your picture. It's awesome, it's really cool. It's got a couple uh, scratches and dents on the front, but it gives it character. If I had to imagine, I'd say that's something that you would have picked up from like Nintendo Power back in the day, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, next up we've got the PVP Station Light. Remember watching like an Ashens review or something like that on this forever ago, I actually really just turned it on accidentally. It does not work, and I'm so bummed about it. But uh, it does have the little game cartridge in there. The game probably works, but the system, unfortunately, is bricked, which I'm not going to spend the time or effort to fix because it's like a $14 console anyways. Or handheld, sorry. That cost me five ninety eight, and this is funny because in here, instead of putting PVP, I just put POS. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's see what else we got. Far Cry Primal Collector's Edition Guide. It's a hardcover. It's really neat. It's got um, all these like Far Cry stickers in the back. And this cost me $1.99. All right, and last but not least, an LA Noir. I can, I, I never know if I'm saying that right, but a guide for that game, which is actually a great game. A lot of people didn't like the way it played out, but I for one didn't enjoy it, and that cost me $1.99 as well. And I believe that is all of my, uh, that's all my pickups. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go finish unpacking, and I will see you guys with the next video. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and I'll see you in the new year. So till then, deuces, best of luck. Sorry guys, I forgot one game. Uh, Resident Evil 5, I think it's remastered for um, the Xbox One. It's really cool, this is one of my favorite Resident Evil games. Actually it is my favorite, which once again is unpopular opinion, but I tend to like things that most people don't. And it's cool because this has all the DLC on it. I have beat this game before, but I've never played any of the DLC, so I'm glad to pick that up. Actually, my girlfriend got me that and the nice white Xbox One for Christmas. So once again, thank you Ava, love you. Bye.